Good evening, dear ladies. Besiata Dishma, let's bless Bezrat Hashem that may Mashiach Tzidkenu Yagia Bimra Biamein or Amen. Shagia Mavasar Eliyahu and Abiliyahu Tishbiliyahu Giladi Bimra Mashiach Daniel Eliyahu Mizachul Atov. Besiata Dishma, this week's parasha is Parashat Vayeshev. Dear ladies, there's lessons about Parashat Vayeshev in TorahAnytime.com or RabbanitIris.com, lessons that Hashem gave me to give you through the Pardes. So please watch over that about Parashat Vayeshev. The whole show today, you remember last week we finished Nosea Avon, he who carries out transgressions by kind the heaven and, and recoronations. And we spoke about Moshe Rabbeinu and we spoke about the twins of Hevel. And we spoke about, um, dear ladies, about how they fixed Cain, how Cain and Hevel fixed them themselves in the reincarnations. Today, the whole show is going to be about Hanukkah, about the Jewish laws and the customs besiata dishmaya of Hanukkah. Dear ladies. First of all, you know that Besiata Dishmaya, Besukot, we start davening for rain. And in Israel, they already daven Barech Aleinu Veten in Tfilat Shmona Esre. They already daven Barech Aleinu Vetel Tanu Matar Livracha. They already started it. But in abroad, out of the, outside the land of Israel, we start on the 4th of December. Because of the, it's, it says in the halacha, I'm speaking about Filat Shemun and it's almost here, the 4th of December. So it says in the halacha, outside the land of Israel, we start Barech Halenu Betentalu Matar, instead of Barchenu. You know, that it, this is special in the uh, Sephardic um, Sidurim, but not in the Ashkenazi, because the Ashkenazi stay with the same, with the Barcheinu, and they say, Talu Matar Libracha. But we have the longer one, Barech Aleinu Beten Tal Matar Libracha. It's the longer one. So when you come now on the 4th of December, which is in Arvit, Arvit of the 4th of December, we start the Barech Aleinu Betel Mi Kamocha Ba'elim Hashem, dear ladies. Mi Kamocha Ba'elim. And this is Hashem over here. So this is the initial Mi Kamocha Ba'elim Hashem. Who is like you in the gods, Hashem? Because Hashem is the only God of the world. He's the only creator of the world. So the Maccabim was also called the Hashmonaim. Hashmonaim means like a, a very important person, person by, that has power. And Maccabi means that they believed in Hashem. So Hanukkah, hey, and I would just, just like to tell you that Kafe, the 25th, is also the 25th presence of the Kohanim. The Kohanim received from Hashem 25 presents. And when, where do we have 25 letters? In the word Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, has 25 letters. If you count it, it's 25. So Chazal say, our sages say, don't, don't read it Chanu, but read it Chino. The grace. It says Hashem has favor to a person who says Shema Yisrael. The sentence that have to, has 25 letters, dear ladies. This is Chino, dear ladies. So let's go. Push myself. Tada. So now, dear ladies, let's go to Adlakat Nerot, to lighting the candles next week, Sunday night, Bezrat Hashem. <laughs> it says in the Halakha that how do we light the candles? Ner Ishu Beito, which means every house has a Hanukkiah that has eight Pamotim, dear ladies, all of them at the same level, except for the Shamash that is higher than the others, dear ladies, and there's one for each house. Hamehadrin, and most of the people that I know today, all of them, see to it that there's a Hanukkiah for each one to light. That everybody in the house has a Hanukkiah, and especially the children that come with a Hanukkiah from the kindergartens and schools, that they prepare a Hanukkiah. And then, dear ladies, Bet Shammai said, 
We should light eight candles at the first day, and then every day one less candle for eight days. Beth Hillel said, no, we should light on the first day one candle, and on the second we should add another one, and then at the eighth day there will be eight candles. And Halakha is by Bet Hillel. And I want you to see how Hanukkah, on the word Hanukkah, we see that Halakha is like Bet Hillel, because Hanukkah, as we have it like this. Um, okay. Chet is eight in numerical value, so it's eight candles, Nerot, Vehalacha, and the Halacha, the Jewish law, Keveit, Hillel. True, it's beautiful. Chanukah is eight candles, Chet is eight, Nun is can candles, Kizen Nerot, Vav is Vehalacha, is the Halacha, Chaf is Keveit, and He is Hillel. Which means the halacha is like the Bet Hillel, which means ma'alim b'kodesh v'lo moridim b'kodesh. We sanctify and we raise sanctification and we don't lower it up. So this is the halacha, we first candle the first day and then we add another candle each day. It says, dear ladies, that we need, once we are uh, lighting the candles, we need lechaven, to visualize the word nachal. And please write it down. Harizal says that once we light the candles, it's very important to visualize the word Nachal. It comes from the sentence Ladlik Ner Chanukah. To light a candle of Chanukah, the initials is Nachal. You see, Lamed Nun Chet, Nachal. And it comes from the 13 attributes of Hashem, Notzer Chesed Lalafim. Hashem who has mercy for thousands of generations. You see the initials is Nun Chet Lamed Nachal. And it comes from Tehillim chapter 33, Nafsheinu Chikta Hashem. Our soul is waiting for Hashem because we are waiting for Mashiach, dear ladies. All of this, please write down. It's very important to visualize it while we are can lighting the candles. The letters Nun Chet Lamed. And just remember the sentences. Ladlik Ner Chanukah. Why? Because once we light the candle of Chanukah, we see the, 30, the light that was in Bereshit. The light that was in the beginning when Hashem created the world was for 36 hours. 12 hours Erev Shabbat, on the eve of Shabbat. 12 hours on Shabbat and 12 hours, dear ladies, was when Shabbat was in. So together it's 36 hours, like Lamed Vav Tzadikim, like the 36 Tzadikim that hold the world and Zohar Kadosh says that there are 36 Tzadikim in Israel, in the land of Israel, and 36 Tzadikim, dear ladies, outside of the land of Israel, together it's 72, which means Ein bet shemot shel Hakadosh Baruch Hu, seventy-two names of Hashem. The best thing is when the, all of the seventy-two is in the land of Israel. So, dear ladies, we light in order to see the light that Hashem created at the beginning. And this light, the first human being, Adam Arishon, could see from the beginning of the world to the end, which means all of the generations that are supposed to come from Him. Every generation and generation and all of the big rabbis and the rabbitsons and all of the big people and the small people, he saw everybody. But Hashem, when he saw what the generations forward will do, like Sdom and Dora Palaga and Dora Nosh, Hashem took this light and hid it for the righteous people at the end of days. This is the light when Bezrat Hashem, it will be the big judgment day. This is the light, dear ladies, that at the end of days, the wicked people are going to die from it because they cannot bear the light and the righteous people will be healed from it. It's a light that the wicked cannot, because they cannot uh, grasp and observe the light of Hashem. And all of us are one big light, dear ladies. Big white, uh, big white light of Neshama, dear ladies. And with this light, we bring Mashiach, dear ladies. Mashiach, Madlikim, Shmona, Yemei, Chanukah. Look, the initials of Mashiach is lighting eight 
Days of Hanukkah. The Mashiach. You see the Mashiach? Dear ladies, lighting eight days of Hanukkah. Eight candles for eight days of Hanukkah, dear ladies. All of the candles for the eight days, together without the shamash, without the candle that lights them, dear ladies, it's 36, it's Lamed Vav. Exactly like the light that was at the beginning for 36 hours, the big light that Hashem had, and you could see from the beginning of the world to the end of the world with that light. What is Notzer Chesed L'Alafim? He who has mercy for thousands. It means, dear ladies, that Hashem, uh, the Baal Shem Tov says that even, that even in darkness, dear ladies, even when the Hashem hides himself and we see everything like it's nature, and nature is also from Hashem, nature is also a miracle from Hashem, because nothing can work in this world without Hashem, without Hashem's presence in it. So, dear ladies, even then, dear ladies, Hashem is people that they feel that they are weak in society, that they're alone, they don't have anybody. Hashem is more than, with them than with others. He doesn't leave us alone for a, a minute, a split of a second, because if chas v'shalom, we were alone, dear ladies, there will be a separation between soul and body. Hashem will take His presence from us. He will take back His soul. But Hashem is always with us. Lishmercha bechol drachecha. We are never alone. Chas v'shalom af pam lo levad. Hashem is always with us. So Hashem, b'siyata dishmea, for every mitzvah that we do, Hashem keeps and remembers this mitzvah for, th for thousands of the generations after us, dear ladies. And then, shenafsheinu chikta la Hashem, we are waiting for Hashem, we are waiting for Mashiach. So please visualize while you're lighting the candles, visualize the word Nachal. So Hashem will know that we're waiting for Mashiach already. Just Nachal or then three Yeah, you, Nachal and then constant, you can write it on a piece of paper. And you can say that after that, you can, when you sit, after you lit the candles, you can say the sentences. Now, dear ladies, the Hanukkah candles, you are not allowed to touch them. You cannot take light from them other candles from Hanukkah because the soul is temesh ba'or shel ner Hanukkah. And we cannot sit and use it for studying or doing other things from the light of Hanukkah. You are not allowed to light candle from candle in Hanukkah. That's why we have the shamash. What does the shamash do? It's just a, it's a parable to people who enlighten other people in the ways of Hashem in this world. Like, like the shamash light, lit the candles, a person who lights the candle and kindles the neshama, the soul of each Jewish person in this world, Besiata Dishmea Zochet to bring a big light and to bring Mashiach Bezrat Hashem. Bimera Biamenu Amen. And then, how do we put the candles? I would like to remind you. So I put it over here. Dear ladies, Hatsavam Yaminus Lismol, we put the candles from right to left and we light them from left to right. Because right to left, this is right to left, dear, dear women. Okay, this is right to left. We put the candles at Sava and we light them from left to right. Right to left is Chesed, is mercy. Chesed, and to left is Gvura, is Din. Judgment. Then we want to soften the judgment, so we light the, the candles from the part of judgment towards the part of mercy. That's why it's, you light the candles from judgment to mercy. All of the judgment becomes mercy, dear ladies. So we, again, we put the candles from right to left and we light them from left to right. So we cause that, like it's a circle, we cause, we go back to chesed, just like dear ladies, we put shoes. It's the same thing. Or we put clothing and we take them off. We put the first, the right leg, and then the left leg. Then we take off the left leg and we, and we take off the right. Why? Because we want to start and finish with mercy. This is starting and finishing with mercy. We start with mercy and we finish with mercy. 
I would like to remind you, Bezrat Hashem, that the people that uh, do the mitzvah quickly, zuzim le mitzvah, dearly, ladies, start the lighting of the candles, b'shkiat hachama, when the sun goes down. But most of the people do it after the stars appear in the sky and after tefillat arvit b'siyat adishma. What happens if your husband is not at home? He's still at work. So, dear ladies, the husband can appoint his wife for him to light the candles at home. But if it will cause chas v'shalom lo shalom bayit, a fight, then wait for your husbands and light the candles with them. Okay? And vice versa. If the wife comes home late and the husband sees that she will be upset if he lit the candles without her, so he can wait and light the candle with her. Now, the blessings that we say when while we light the candles, at the first day, which is next Sunday, we say, light the candles of Hanukkah, you see, this the initials, Nachal. Ladlik Ner Chanukah. And then the second blessing, Shasani Simla Votenu, who made the miracles to our forefathers in those days, in this time. In those days, in the past, in this time now, which means we can see the miracles of Hashem all the time. Especially today when we see that so much anti Semitism is in the whole world. It's a miracle that we are still here. It's mamash a miracle, dear ladies. It's Hashem's mercy that loves us and protects the land of Israel, which has enemies on all over the borders. Just look, it's mamash a big miracle from Hashem, dear ladies. And the third one is Shechianu Bikimanu Bigianu Lazman Azeh. Now, dear ladies, we say this only on the first day, Shechianu, but the other days it's only two blessings. The first day has three blessings, and all the seven, the seven other days ha- have only two blessings. After that, we say Hanero Talalu, and we say Shir Chanukat Abayit Le David, dear ladies. Chapter 13, don't Tehillim. Forget. Okay, don't forget. So write it down. I didn't, I didn't have enough space. Forget. Chapter 30, we say Hanero Talalu, Shanu Madlikim. And then we say chapter 30 in Tehillim. Shir Chanukat Abayit 30, 30, 30. Shir Chanukat Abayit Le David. Don't forget, it's important, all of these things things we have to remind ourselves. I'm reminding you that every day of Hanukkah we say the whole Hallel, the full Hallel. It's not like on Rosh Chodesh that we say half of the Hallel. It's like the first day, the two first days outside the, the, the land of Israel, the two first days of the Pesach, we say also the whole Hallel and then we say half of the Hallel. Over here also we say the whole Hallel, dear, dear ladies. And every day we read from the Torah and we read from the Nesim. Parashat Neso, please take the, from the Torah what I gave you. Yes. This one. This is from the Torah. First take the thing from the Torah that I gave you. And I would like to tell you how we read from it. So twice, it's three times. Three times a year we read the Parashat of Nesim. Parashat Neso. This is part of Parashat Neso, Chumash Bamidbar. In, the, in Chumash Bamidbar, dear ladies, once when we read the par- parasha on Shabbat in the synagogue, and once on Hanukkah, only the portion of the Nesim out of Parashat Neso, and dear ladies, uh, on um, the month of Nisan at the beginning, the 12th days at the beginning of the month of Nisan, Hashem, after the, Hashem told Moshe Rabbeinu and Aaron to put up the tent, the holy tent, then the Nesim, the presidents of each tribe, come and give presents for the holy tent. And each one of them gives it. So, the Sephardic custom, and you'll see it in the, in the Sidurim, is to read from Vedaber Hashem el Moshe, Chumash Bad Mirbar, Parashat Neso, dear ladies, chapter... Chapter 6, it starts, Speak to Aaron and his children. You see, Ko, 25th, Ko, Ko de Varhu, where is Hanukkah? Ko, please pay attention. Ko de Varhu at Bnei Israel. Bless the children of Israel. And then you see the triple blessing of the Kohanim. The Sephardic start over here for the first day of Hanukkah, which means in the morning. 
of Sunday night is the first candle, so Monday morning is the first time we read it. Okay? Okay, next Monday, not this month. Next Monday, Bezrat Hashem. So we start over here from the, the triple blessing of the Kohanim. And this is a good minhag because all of the uh, uh, ness, all of the miracle that happened on Hanukkah was by the Kohanim. So we start over here, the Svaradik start over here, and the Ashkenaz from the Birkat, Birkat the Kohanim, and the Ashkenazi start from uh, chapter 7. Uh, verse verse one. When on the day that Moshe finished to build the Mishkan, it was also in Kislev on the twenty-first of Kislev. So, dear ladies, for, for the as I'll tell you what to read. Please write inside. So, dear ladies, pay attention, write it over there. The first day we read from for the Sephardic, they start from Vaydeber Hashem el Moshe, the triple blessing, the Ashkenazi start beyond Klot Moshe, until it includes also, turn the page. It includes Vaya Makri Bayom Arishon. You see what I wrote, Aleph Sivan, Aleph Nisan. Over here, you read all the first day until verse uh, 18. You see, second day, you have uh, second day of Hanukkah. You see, second day of Hanukkah. Okay, the first day we see all of this until the second day of Hanukkah. You see, at Yom Sheni, until Yom Sheni, the second day. Yes, the first is the longest. And yes, the second day, look over there, please. Is for it's from verse 18 on the second day. Netanel, you see, Netanel ben Suar Nesia Sechar. The president of the tribe of Issachar. The second day is only this. You read from verse 18 to verse, dear ladies, uh, 23. Verse 18 to verse, this is the second day. The se Tuesday, yeah, during the daytime. It's the second day. The third day, you read from Beyom Ashlishi. You see Beyom Ashlishi? On the third day, Nesi Livnei Zvulun, it's verse 24. Until verse 29, including verse 29. This is the third day in the morning. The fourth <laughs> day of Hanukkah. <laughs> when you say Shacharit, you can read it. The fourth day, dear ladies, is Bayom Aravi Besiat Adishmaya. On the fourth day, it's verse 30 to verse 35, including verse 35. This is the fourth day. Bayom Aravi. Ken. <laughs> then, and you see it, you have it, it's written on the side. And then we go to the fifth day of Hanukkah. The fifth day of Hanukkah, dear ladies, it starts in verse 36, the fifth day. Nesil ibnei Shimon Shlumiel ben Suri Shaddai. This is the, the, the fifth day, it starts from verse 36 to verse 41, including verse 41. The sixth day starts from verse... 42, Bayom Shishi on the sixth day, until verse 46, until verse 46. And then the seventh day starts from verse 48, until verse, dear ladies, 53, including 53. Now, what happens on the eighth day? On the eighth day, we, it's not Hanukkah. We start from, and then Bezrat Hashem will have on the Shabbaton, the shul for the Zot Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. It starts Bayom uh, Shmini on the eighth day, chapter uh, 54, until the end of the next page. Until the end, until the end, until Parashat Baalotcha, including the four, the four verses in Parashat Baalotcha, where there we can see Aaron lighting the candles of the menorah. Until the end. The eighth day starts on the eighth day and until the, the end of the second page, which means we read from verse 
From chapter 6, verse... Um, Verse 54 until the end of chapter 6, uh, chapter 7, sorry, until the end of chapter 7, including the four verses in chapter 8, Be'alotcha. And Ad Lekan, Ad Lasof. Kolel Ze, Kolel Mashat Rasha, Be'alotcha. Hakol. The eighth day includes everything. It's a big schut. From this we'll learn how to thank Hashem. Adasov. Everything you have over there. So, Besiyat Adishmaya, it's our part as women, Besiyat Adishmaya, to help our men to read the Parashat Nesim. Parashat Nesim has a lot of secrets in it. The, the portion of the Nesim, the president, has a lot of secrets. Everything in it symbolizes Mashiach and symbolizes the end of days also. So it's a lot of secrets in it. And she, Shmonaim Yishel Chanukah. Dear ladies, another thing. Now let's see what we do. Women do not work half an hour when the candles are lit. We wait and sit and enjoy the light of the candles. It's a big schut to enjoy the light of the candles. It says that the Hashmonaim wanted the Jewish people to stop studying Torah and to stop bringing sacrifice of the Tamid to the Beit HaMikdash. So because of this, it's a big schut on Chanukah to study more Torah on Chanukah. And Besad Adishma to pray to Hashem. And now we're going to go to the Sgulot, all of the Sgulot of the candles and what we do while the candles, uh, we, while we're watching the candles, what do we do when we sit next to it. So let's go to the page of the Sgulot. The women sit half an hour next to the candles. Because, especially the women. Why? Because the miracles was also made by the women. The Greeks, every woman that got married used to take the bride and the general over there used to have int intimate relationship with her before her husband. This is one of the decrees that were on the women, the Jewish women, on, in that time. And it says that they wanted to take the daughter of a Kohen Gadol then, Matityahu Kohen Gadol, dear ladies, and she got engaged. And the general over there took her in front of her uh, fiancé, dear ladies, took her in front of her fiancé, had the relationship with her in front of him, then took a pig and put it on the altar and spread all the blood all over. And when he took her, he put a book of Torah underneath her in order to do what he did. And there was a woman that was called Yehudit Bat Be'eri. She was a widow. And she was the one, Besiyat Adishmaya, that went and killed one of the kings, that, uh, the Greece kings, and took off his head and brought it to Yerushalayim and helped the, all of the Jewish people in Yerushalayim after they had a big sage on Yerushalayim and they didn't have water to drink to help and conquer and, and overcome all of the Greeks at that time. So it's a big thing for the women, dear ladies, to celebrate and not to work half an hour next to the candles. There's another thing. You did use dairy milk and dairy food in order to give this general in order that he will fall asleep, just like Yael Giboa. Yael, that we read about her in the Torah, just like her. She gave him that, so it's a minhag to eat also dairy things on Hanukkah, dear ladies. Now, please look at the paper, and, uh, and let's go, you see this part? What kind of chapters in Tehillim we read? We start with chapter 90. Chapter 90, we read him eight times, but how do we read him? Seven times loudly next Seven times loud next to the candles. The eighth time we read it quietly. Mm -hmm. Why eight times? If you'll pay attention, chapter uh, chapter nine, no, not, not ninety. Sorry, no, no ninety-one. Mm -hmm. Chapter ninety-one. I'll, we'll start it all over again. We read chapter 90, only the last verse in chapter ninety. Mm -hmm. Only this, the last verse. We read it, the, only the last know, verse, okay. twice the last verse. But then chapter 91, you read it eight times. Seven times loud, 
one time in a low voice. Tishim is seven times. No. Tishim, Tishim is just the last verse. And the Lord is our Elohim. You've heard it once. But ninety-one, Tishim, and one, you've heard it seven times. Seven times in all the Rams, and the seventh time in all the Rams. Why? You saw now, we just had the parasha of uh, Dear Ladies of Vayishlach. We just finished parashat Vayishlach. And we see that Yaakov Avinu comes towards the Sav and he bows seven times. And he bows, the Zohar Kadosh says, to the Shekhinah, to the Divine Presence that is there to protect him. There are seven names for the evil inclination. Satan has Lo'alenu seven names. Every time that he bowed, he took off the power of this of this energy that is not good. Every time, seven times. So, dear ladies, once we read chapter 91, seven times, chapter 91, Tzadik Kalef doesn't have the letter Zayn in it. Zayn in numerical value is seven. It's a big skula to conquer the evil inclination by reading it seven times. The eighth time is above nature. Eight is above nature, above Ainara. Because eight is like eyes, you see? It's above Ainara. Ab that all of the uh, not so good things will go away from the children of Israel. So we read it eight times. Seven is the number of nature. And there's no letter of Zayn, which a numerical value is seven, in this chapter, 91. So we read it 91, and we read it seven times, dear ladies, and the eighth time we read it loudly. Then we go to chapter th uh, 30, dear ladies, with Shir Chanukat Abayt Le David. Oh, she yeah, she meant the, the first seven times. We read it quite, uh, we read it loudly, and the eighth time, I don't know what's going on, but again, seven times loudly, and the eighth time is quietly. Tzadikale. We just start, twice we say that. No, it's not Tzadikale. Okay. okay, it's written, yes. And now let's continue. Then chapter 30 with Shir Chanukat Abayt, Mizmor Chanukat Abayt Le David. Dear ladies, we read Mizmor Chanukat Abayt Le David, chapter 30, all about Chanukah. Then chapter... Once, once. Everything, Everything now, one. from now on, is Every once. Night Every night next Every to the night, candle, it's a big sula. We'll That's speak about it in hour. a minute. That's your half hour. Then, chapter 33, which has, Nafsheinu chikta Hashem. Our soul is waiting from Hashem from chapter 33. So we read once, chapter 33. Then chapter 67, this is a chapter of the menorah. So we need to read oh. it and to imagine that we see the menorah once we read it, Okay. You remember chapter 67 is the chapter of the menorah. When you see the menorah, you know King David, how did he go to war? It says that King David, King David on his uh, armor, I'm, I'm say, armor, on his armor inside, the whole, this chapter was written on it. Because this protects us from enemies. Because this menorah that has seven kanim, okay, Three from each side, and there's a middle one. The middle one is parallel to the Torah, the written Torah. And all the three together, it's six. It's the oral Torah. So it's a big protection. And this is the oral Torah, the Mishnah, dear ladies. Three from each side. So please, dear ladies, try to imagine this chapter. And you can open the Siddur, because on the Siddur, yes. in the Siddur, you have it, you have it written yeah, in the way of, of the menorah. Then we have chapter 19, dear ladies, who deals with thank you to Hashem. And then chapter 100, again, Mizmole Toda, this is thank you to Hashem for helping us. And then chapter 133, dear ladies. All of this we are ending, Besiata Dishmaya, with Anna Bekoach Dulat Yeminecha. The 42 names of Hashem, and after we say this, we say, Baruch Shem Kvod Malchuto Lolam Ve'ed. This is the Tehillim that we say next to the candles. After we finish, we ask, first of all, for Mashiach, and ask from Eliyahu Navi Zachul Atom. We ask that he's the messenger of the Geula. We ask from Hashem Besiyat Adishmaya, 
that Hashem will bring peace among us and Klal Israel. May Hashem bring us to the land of Israel and when we have also a, a roof over our head in the land of Israel. Amen. May Hashem Bessiate Dishmaya will conquer all of our enemies, and, and, which are not really our enemies, they're enemies of Hashem. Because anyone that goes against the children of Israel goes against Hashem. And we ask from Hashem, marriages, children, refuah being healthy, parnasa, metir asurim, taking out of jail, which means that tshuva besiyat adishmaya. Everything that the children of Israel need, everything we ask. After we read the, the Tehillim, because after we, we read the Tehillim, it's like we have a crown over our head. <laughs> and now you can ask. You're a daughter of a king. Now you can ask. We lit the candles. We, we visualized the, the letters Nun, the letter Chet and the letter Lamed, Nachal. And we visualized, we thought about the sentences, the verses. And then, dear ladies, we read Tehillim. Now we are ready. Just the gates of heaven are open. It's Sha'at Ratzon, it's an hour of will, and we ask from Hashem Besiyat Adishmaya to bless us and Klal Yisroel. First of all, bless Klal Yisroel, then bless yourself. And everybody, you can make lists and just read for everybody, because he who davens for other people, Hashem gives him the blessing first if he davened from all of his heart. If he prayed from all of his heart, dear ladies. So if we don't have time, because we have small children, and it's hard for us to sit next to the candles, at least the first night and the last night, the eighth night, and Rosh Chodesh, don't move from the candles. See there that somebody will be with the children. Okay? Yom Rishon, the first night that you light the candles, the eighth night, the last night, and Rosh Chodesh. Okay. Another thing, um, dear ladies, the, the eighth day of Hanukkah is a big sgula for Zera Bar Kaima, to have yeah. children. So on the eighth day of Hanukkah, concentrate for all of the women that need children. Bless Klal Yisrael for children. On the eighth, on the eighth. On the eighth. On the eighth day, uh, every day, but on the eighth day, like eighth the eighth day, day for circumcision. So it's a big day for having children, the, uh, dear ladies. The man is a book. Especially on Rosh Chodesh, every day ask for marriages, for our children, grandchildren, for ourselves, for everybody, every day. Every day also bless for Zerah Bakayma, for children, but especially on the eighth day, it has a big sgula. I would like to tell you, you remember I told you last year, and I spoke, I think on Sukkot we spoke about it. It's a good thing to take the... Uh, oil that we yeah, use for the well. yes for that we used to light the menorah to put in the sukkah for eight days because then all of, of this energy and all of this blessings and everything are in this oil and once we finish the oil first of all you have to say if you want to use the oil if you say this oil is only for Hanukkah for the mitzvah of Hanukkah then you cannot are not allowed to use the oil but if you say that this oil is for Hanukkah and also to use it afterwards, then you're allowed to use the oil. Very important to say it. Lasot nai, that this oil is not only for Hanukkah. But there are people that buy the, a bottle. If you buy a bottle, you have to, to remember to say that this bottle of oil is not only for Hanukkah, we are going to use it also later. You have to say it before you use it. Now, dear ladies, the oil that you light the candle, that you light the menorah, dear ladies, it says that it has a sgulaf to cure tzayim. How do you say it in Shoshana. Shoshana. Ma? Cellulitis. No, it's yes, infections, it says that it has a sgula to heal it. So if you want, you can just gather all the oil and put it in a small thing and cover it. כן, כן, פשוט לאסוף את זה, every night, אם את מוסיפה, אז בסוף השמונה ימים, אבל... Gather it and you can use it, זה סגולה בסייעת הדשמה לרפואה שלמה. גם את הפתילים סופי. Another thing, dear ladies, we take, if we have oil that is left over and also the פתילה, the weeks, the weeks that are left over, we gather them and we burn them on chametz before Pesach. Just like the lulav and the arava, 
Dear ladies, it's the same thing of Sukkot. Sukkot is eight days and Hanukkah is eight days, dear ladies. So just like on Sukkot that we take the lulav and the arava and we burn it on the chametz, because you remember the arava, chabit, chabit, vela barich, that we did, the arava symbolizes the mouth, that all of the prosecutors, the angels that are prosecuting us and the children of Israel will close their mouths, Hashem will close their mouth. So we burn it with the chametz before Pesach. So we burn this with the, all the leftovers of Hanukkah of the, from the menorah, and we burn this on Mesiat Adishma. Why burn the wicks? Ma? Why burn the wicks? Why collect the wicks? What's in it? So we collect the wicks because it's like we're collecting and we're burning off all of the enemies of the children of Israel, dear ladies. Slicha? Everything that you are mitzvah, we're not supposed to throw in the garbage. Okay, we, you, can, you, are, you are not allowed, to, like we're not allowed to, uh, to throw away everything that we do a mitzvah no, no, with no. it. So we burn it with the chametz uh, before Pesach. So let's see, I hope I, I said everything on this. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, I would like to tell you the customs of Hanukkah also. We give tzedakah. It's a big thing to give tzedakah. Tzedakah tzilmimavit. Tzedakah brings geula. It's written by Gmaraim. Baba.